Here to talk about playing both very grounded policemen and oddball villains in Marvel Comics series, plus very soon playing Mary J. Blige's husband, Ooh. is actor Rob Morgan. Rob, <laughs> thank you so much for joining us here on BK Live. Hey, Greg, thank you for having oh, me. Oh, it's a pleasure. We're all in your coming attractions reel. We know everything that you have coming <laughs> on uh -huh. online, and we expect a full explanation right now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start with that yeah. Stranger Things. Because it's the most popular TV show, yeah, maybe, man. of the year, right? Since it came out, it's been, like, number one. Only time for, like, maybe the third, fourth week it was number two. Then yeah. right after that, it popped back to number one. So, now, When yeah. I originally saw that trailer a few mm. months before the show came out, I thought, this show is going to be huge. I know you get this question a lot. Mm. But was there any part of you, what did you think when you were shooting that show? Did you think it was going to be big? Uh, I was thinking, God is great. Thank you for the opportunity. Um, I was thinking, you know, I'm happy to be getting some work. Uh, then I was thinking, man, this is an awesome crew, awesome uh, production team. Where do you guys shoot? Uh, we shoot in Atlanta. Okay. Yeah, I was nice. thinking, thank you, Carmen right. Cuba, for casting it, casting me in it, uh, trusting me. The Duffer Brothers, uh, Sean Levy, yeah. my man David Harbour, the lead, Winona Ryder, all of them was just so, the, the kids. So I was just really like uh, living a dream, man, especially, you know, a New York City actor. Um, you, you're grinding your knuckles to the bone to get some work in New York, and then all of a sudden you get like, wow, I'm going to Atlanta for five months to work. It was beautiful. And man. not on a Tyler Perry production, out in the real world, <laughs> instead of being in the church. But The church! No knock on Mr. Perry. I'm sure yeah, you're man. very open to all working opportunities. But what is it like at this point, especially being an actor of color, in Brooklyn, is this the moment for people to really be bridging it, or do you need to be down in Atlanta where things are popping, or in New Orleans even where there's a lot of filmmaking? How is it to be an actor specifically of color even here? Well, well, I mean, I think just to be a black actor, period, or a black actor, or black actor, or actor of color, or actually just an actor, period, yeah. just to have the opportunity. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. Viola Davis said, man, you know, it's just, man, just, yeah. all we need is the opportunity. It's not a talent mm -hmm. guy. You know, and then, it, and the, the the funny thing about it is that the numbers show that the market are, is very interested in refreshing yeah. new looks, new faces, uh, you know, people of color stories. When the bow breaks, uh, this is the number one movie. Yeah, I mean, you know, straight out of Compton, even yeah. if you want to go, like, on that kind of story. Um, but, uh, it's just an opportunity. That's all anybody needs. And that's, that goes from black actors to Asian actors to, to Latino actors. But I'm to, saying, you know. should I be booking a ticket to Atlanta now, or can you work in New York City? <laughs> is everyone moving oh, down there? Is by that the where grace of God, is? I work wherever the, the, the check is at. You right. know, <laughs> I work in New York City. Yeah. You know, I work in New Orleans. You know, you mentioned the Mary J. Blige gig we did. It's called Mudbound by D. Reeves. Uh, you know, she's Love the writer-director yeah. of Pariah. Right. So we combined Local together girl. again. Speaking of opportunity, because D. Reeves had to fight tooth and nail to have me in this project. Really? Because the actual producers, they weren't as familiar with me. So mm -hmm. they wanted to go with a higher brand name actor, yeah. you know, at first, if you want That's to call it that. Brooklyn Connection, and she, we know she's or, a local girl. Or, or, yeah, she's a local girl. She's actually from Tennessee, but, um, you know, it's the connection of people trusting and saying, look, I have a vision for my project, mm -hmm. and this actor fits that vision I have. Gotcha. And I'm going to go tooth and nail with producers, with the studios and everybody, and say, hey, if this actor isn't in my movie playing this particular character, I'm not interested. Like, if you have to fight that yeah. hard to get somebody like me an opportunity, yeah. you see what I'm saying? Yeah, you appreciate that. Well, that I, means I, a lot, too, because she's I mean, not exactly beautiful. Ava DuVernay at this point. Like, in her career trajectory, we know that she is on that path, but mm -hmm. for someone who's on the come up to be that unbending in support of you, you must be all right. I mean, I think Dee Reese's trajectory is, is beautiful. I mean, yeah. the, the level of work she puts out is stellar. Uh, it, it, it gets received very well. Um, it's honest. It's true. Um, it's not coming from a, a, a stereotype voice that somebody that doesn't even look like her characters are speaking for her, yeah. but she speaks honestly for her characters, and I think that shows in her work. Um, for me, it's just, like I said, just to have the opportunity mm -hmm. and what it would sometimes take just for people that look like you mm -hmm. if you want that to be seen 
um, um, in your living rooms or in the theaters what we really have to do just to get the opportunity. Yeah. Because sometimes they'll be like, wow, you know what, I don't even know who this guy is, but the writer, director, and uh, even the guy who's putting the most money in it knows who he is, but this side of the production team doesn't, doesn't yeah. so we're gonna go this way. Right. I got so many more questions for you. Yeah. Your first movie, I believe, was Contact with Jodie Foster yeah, and Matthew yeah, McConaughey. Man. Speaking of opportunities, <laughs> how did you position yourself to be in that movie in the 90s? Man, um, <laughs> wow. It's Judy <Jimmy laughs> Foster, really. Judy <laughs> Foster and Matt McConaughey. The reason, you know, what it was was a young lady I was interested in at the time. She was Always interested in, I know, you know, <laughs> you know, it attracts you, man. So, uh, it wasn't brings, it, Jody Foster, was No, go nah, on, go on. It brings the well, best out of you. So, um, I'm interested in her, and she was a, a pursuing actress from New York City, moved to D.C., and she was like, yo, you should come with me to this open call. And I was like, what's that? I don't even know the open call. I mean, just come. <laughs> no problem. So we go, show up, and it's like 3,000 beautiful women. And I'm like, wow, who are you? I've never seen. Uh, who are you? What, 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 you know, what is this? Said, no problem. Stand in line. I'm looking around. They get me into the uh, spot to take my picture. They say, okay, sir, look this way. We'll take your picture. First yeah. they said, do you have a headshot and resume? I was like, headshot and resume? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just here to, you know, she told me to come. I came, took my picture. Uh, I was like, all right, cool, great. Went to work the next day. She comes up to me, Rob, did they call you? I was like, nah, who? She was like, the people. I was like, no. All right, all right, next day. Rob, did they call you? No, did they call you? Who, who, what are you talking about? <laughs> and so the next day, they actually called me. And they was like, yeah, we'd like to speak to uh, Rob Morgan. I said, yeah, it's Rob, you know, what's going on? Uh, we'd like to offer you five days background for contact. And I was like, five days background? What the? Yeah, all right, what? You know, wrote down, catch this bus at this time in the morning, right. 2 o'clock in the morning, that bus, that bus will pick you up at 5 o'clock. This is back in the 90s. We didn't have, like, text and email right. and all yeah. that stuff. So you had to write it down and be specific to meet the buses. So we get there, and the young lady, I run up to her. I'm like, yo, did they call you? She's like, no. I was like, they called me. Uh. <laughs> five days, right? <laughs> So come the, the fourth day, fifth day, I'm like, man, you know, I want my mom to see me. I don't feel like I'm getting camera time. Because, you know, you're just getting shuffled right. around. So I'm standing there and I'm watching. Actor, yeah, yeah, background actor. So just compiling all the information I learned from listening, you know, from the days I was on the set. I'm, one day I'm just watching and seeing and I see them place this guy with long white hair right there. And I was like, hmm, that's where I need He's to be, yeah. right? So I went and stood in this spot for like four or five hours, man. I literally stood in this spot. I did not move, didn't move. I just stood there. Everything is, nobody's around me. I'm just standing there. Next thing you know, they started building the set. And they started placing people around me. Cause oh, I just wow. didn't move. I literally stood there. It was like I was standing in the middle of the street like, like four or five hours. That's yeah. a lesson in perseverance. Yes, yes, oh, perseverance. My God. So then, next thing you know, they place uh, Gary, Jake Busey, the younger one, oh, okay. the son, place him right there. And I'm like, oh, man. And then you're in the movie. And so, yeah, next thing you know, like, action. Jodie Foster walks by, and they're like, background, you can make noise now. It's the scene where she goes in to ask the president for more money to yeah. do her out of space right. uh, mm -hmm. interviews or whatever, looking for out of space yeah. things. <laughs> and so I was like, you know, all right, they said, background, you can make noise. And the background was going, yeah, 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 right? Uh -huh. And I was like, well, you know, how would I feel? If this woman was in D.C., because I'm from, well, I grew up in D.C., I was like, how would I feel if she came and took money out of my mouth to look for some stuff mm, out of space? Yeah, alien. I was like, get a real job. <laughs> there ain't nothing out of space. Don't waste my tax dollar. There you go. And, and Jody was looking at me like, <laughs> that, like, there you that's go. not in the script. You, you stayed in the picture. I feel yeah. like James Lipton right now. I know. So inside the actor's studio. I have more. And and I got to know the microphone pops up. And so I'm like, like, and you're right there, yeah. And I'm like, oh man. Do that Jake, again. Yeah, now nah, Jake <laughs> looks at me, he's like, you're creative. I said, hey man, I'm just trying to get some burn. Because he was all tall on me. I'm like, hey man, I'm just trying to get some burn, man. <laughs> he was like, keep it up, you'll be all right. And I was like, yeah. So I just kept doing it. And next thing you know, I go to the theater, man, and they actually kept it. Oh, I love it. Because I, 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 I hear my voice, you know, because I'm looking, I'm like, yeah. and I hear my voice, and I'm like, and then I see my face and my voice, and I jump up, like, ah! and I sat back down, like. <laughs> <laughs> and from that point on, Hooked. I was like, that's what I got to do. Hooked. And been that's on great. Pursuit. We're short on time. They want to show a trailer. Yeah, are you, are you going to be in Stranger Things, too? Do we know? Uh, yeah, so far I've been uh, asked to come back for Spoiler some Spoiler alerts. When do you know? What can you tell us? Yeah, what's happening? 
come uh, on, come on. Stranger it's things are happening. Is Will gonna go missing again? <laughs> <laughs> again? Do you is watch yourself in this stuff? Uh, uh, do you watch Stranger Things? He just told you he stood up in the theater. You know he watches it. What about Stranger Things? On. Stranger Things, I do support. And I, I know you're, you're very grateful. You're obviously very appreciative. But is yeah. there anything that you shot for Stranger Things that you're like, why didn't they keep that in? Like, as an actor, you're like, oh, we did that one scene. It took all day, and that's not in there. Well, for this movie, Steps, that I have coming up at Urban World on Saturday at 10.30 yes. p.m. at Urban AMC World. Theater for Urban World, uh, it, was a, it was a couple scenes in there that they let us play, let the cameras roll, and it got real emotional and real deep and for time's sake because unfortunately when it's some people of color playing lead roles of a human story you got to be quick gotta, you can't take your your uh long three hour time and have a three hour movie to show your side of the story you got to be quick so we had to chop it down to like an hour and 40 minutes to make festival times yeah. and stuff yeah. like that just for we us to get people get to watch director's it just cut out there we yeah 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 and that's yeah. the beauty of director's right. cuts you know yeah. but um i'm blessed to have that so yes to answer your question i know i can get long-winded uh, to answer your question, Please. Uh, there's some things sometimes when you're like, man, I bet you, because it would have been so much more that juicier for moment. that character. But that was for that yeah. film. Yeah. For Stranger Things, I totally trust Netflix. Netflix is my daddy. I yeah, got, like, you're on Daredevil on Netflix. Yeah. Um, yeah. You're playing Cage. Luke Cage. Or you're in Luke Cage. Damn, I'm, nah, <laughs> Mike Coulter is playing Luke Cage. I was like, that's an instant upgrade, right? But I was like, damn, Greg, you, I like how you work. <laughs> that's pathetic. I went from days pay to, like, <laughs> <laughs> Lead man pay. Well, you're doing it's excellent coming. things. Yeah. It's coming, yeah. Thank you. God is great, man. For sure. All right, we're getting the rap signal, so thank you so much for All being right. here. Cool, appreciate it. You're in the it. neighborhood. Stop by yeah. anytime. Yeah, bring please. your friend D. Reese. Dude. Bring Luke Cage. Right? Hey, <laughs> you got a lot of tables. We'll just set them you up around. Got some space, right? Bring 11. I'm telling 11. you. <laughs> <laughs> thank That's you so much. Oh, man, it's a pleasure to meet you, man. Thank Seriously. You.